That's very nice. We can lock the view. We have our equipment screen. We currently. Hello! Hello, friends. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the PS2 Gauntlet again. Uh, the series where we're trying to play every North American PS2 game, of course. I'm pretty sure everyone here knows that already. But hello, everyone. Your eyesight's gotten worse, Rue. That sucks, man. I mean, at least, like, they know that. So, you know, your new prescription can fix it, right? But it still sucks. Subtitles on, of course. Um, 16 by 9 widescreen off, actually, because we are playing in 4 by 3 but we will turn on progressive scan, because... Select yes and press square. Oh, that's weird. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to turn it off. I wanted to leave it on. Anyways, okay. Uh, Yeah, everything looks good. Single player. So, Ratchet Deadlocked, man. I don't actually know, like, anything about Ratchet Deadlocked other than I've seen a couple videos of it on YouTube, but I've never played it before. So, this will be my first time, which is kind of exciting. I'm pretty sure I haven't played this one. I've played... A couple ratchet games on the ps2 but i don't remember which ones i mean the first one i'm pretty sure the other one i played was the second one maybe the third i don't know i don't even remember what order they came out in though so mm. speaking of sorbet that's what i'm eating right now man <laughs> i got uh i don't know a little over i mean a little under a half pint of uh mandarin orange sorbet that i made and uh, it's currently frozen too hard to really eat, so I'm just letting it kind of warm up and picking at it as I feel like it. What difficulty do we want to play, though? Couch Potatoes, too easy. Contestant or Gladiator? We probably want to pick one of those two, considering this is my first time playing this that I can remember. But if, but, but like, I wouldn't be against something even harder. Gladiator? You had to get new glasses. I buy direct is so much cheaper than the dock, by the way. You're getting rainbow glasses? Dude, that's awesome. See, I get uh, I actually get pretty decent vision insurance, so I get one basically free pair of glasses a year if I, you know, stop being lazy and actually go to the doctor and get my eyes checked. <laughs> I mean, technically, I probably wouldn't have to go to the doctor to get my updated prescription or to, to get a new pair of glasses. But, um, yeah, you know, it's just kind of, whenever I do, I usually just do it all like one thing. Because, yeah, you know. If I decide it's too much, don't waste it, you'll finish it. Well, I asked you if you wanted some, you said no. But that's fine, I don't mind sharing. I said right now I'm just kind of waiting for it to defrost a little bit, because it's still pretty damn frozen. Gotcha. Medicaid doesn't cover because you're over 20, that sucks, man. That's actually, like, I have health insurance, dental insurance, and health insurance through uh, my workplace. The eye insurance is definitely the best of the three, by far. The stuff around the outside edge that's, like, actually thawed is so freaking good, too. Not that, like, the stuff that's rock hard tastes any worse. It's just, you know, it's not as easy to eat because it's fucking hard. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Uh, greetings, mayor. I, no, no, no. Um, well, long time no Look see. Look at Ratchet uh, being all no, worried. Uh, so Metropolis Anxious and shit. One piece, huh? <laughs> uh, greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you she know, does, because she's such a picky eater, new to I mean. I end up eating her scraps all the time. Oh my gosh. She's oh. kind of cute, though. What happened? Apparently, he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport, something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Vox. I have no idea. <laughs> from within the shadow sector. The shadow sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before. Ah, shit, here it goes. 
<laughs> that is the ugliest looking shark persona. <laughs> is that like fursuit and persona mixed together? Persona? I've never heard that term before. When the sorbet is so cold, your fucking lip gets, like, frozen to the spoon, dude. Holy fuck. Six hours ago, at Dread Zone head cona, uh, headquarters. <laughs> fucking trying to reach out and the screen at the same time. That didn't go too well. Yeah, I don't remember if I played the game before this one. And if I did, it's been so long ago, I don't really remember what led up to it. I'm going to look up real quick and see what order they released in. Ratchet and Plank series. Give him collars. And see if you can get some work out of them first. Okay, yeah, this was the fourth game. Um, it was Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, Up Your Arsenal, and then Ratchet Deadlocked. So I played Ratchet and Clank. I'm pretty sure I played, or I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I played Going Commando. And I think I might have played some of Up Your Arsenal, but I don't think I finished it. And then I didn't really play the Future Saga, which were like the PS3 ones, PS4. And then uh, Rift Apart, obviously, we played together. And then there were also a bunch of spin-off games, and I haven't really played those either. Even though I really love Ratchet, I've just never played that many of the games, man. I mostly love Ratchet because the first game was fucking amazing. And, of course, Rift Apart now. There seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see. Oh, so it's like an avatar, but a fur. A furry avatar. Kind of thing. That's a persona. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, I mean, we will all be I don't think he really betrayed us per se, because you know, uh, Ratchet or I'm sorry, Clank is kind of in on the deal here, and I don't think Clank would would betray us. So I think like we kind of got into some sort of situation that we couldn't get out of and and ratchet just forgets for some reason i don't know <laughs> i you got a bad feeling bro i i imagine this game is probably just okay at best as far as ratchet and clank games go um also we need to invert that faux show because i cannot deal with that there we go there we go. That feels better. The up and down is so much slower than the left and right, though. I mean, I imagine that'll help us, like, I am a with headshots or something. I don't know. Yes. Wait, is there, like... Okay, so if we get close to someone, it kind of automatically aims for us, too. Which, I mean, is okay, I guess. Ah, but we can do long-range stuff if we want to, by just, like, doing good aiming. Cool, cool. At least the, like, platforming so far feels decent. But, I mean, this one seems to be all about the kind of arena shooter kind of style thing. Which is, like, I don't know, man. It's not really my style of game. I prefer just Ratchet and Clank. But, uh, I mean, we're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully it's good. Dread zone, really? Couldn't think of a better name than that. Of you are now a contestant on the greatest television program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the shadow sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good <laughs> Beto luck. mustache shark. <laughs> oh. Coming up to get your sharpies. Do I need anything? Not that I can think of. You filled up my water for me last night. Thank you. Um, and that's all I should really need. Ratchet, I have figured out a way to get information Bugger, to you the box knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. Okay. Secret messages, bottom of the screen, got it. Does this hurt us? Yep, that instantly kills us. Well, I guess it didn't kill us. It just did some damage and then, like, teleported us away or whatever. Uh, that health? 
As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. No, that's ammo. Full, okay. You will gain a level, and your okay. Will increase. So it seems like they basically they took Ratchet and Clank, right? And then they tried to make it more action oriented. Is what I, is what I'm getting here? So we have a wheel that's not a wheel, it's a square. Weird, but okay. Magma cannon. Oh, hi. Holy hell. <laughs> okay, so the magma cannon is our, our shotgun. We're also dead. What was shooting us? I didn't even see that. You finally gonna get to put your origami to use? Oh, you're, wait, what are you doing with the card again? <laughs> I'm sure you told me, but I don't remember. Oh shit, dude. This gun, like, the lock on on it is really fucking powerful. Ow, assholes. You got, like, a lot of fucking health, don't you, bro? I'm guessing that's why it gave us a fucking shotgun. Uh, oh, yeah, eat that fucking shit, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You're folding up the, the money into a heart for to hold a quarter. I remember. You told me you were going to do that. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I've seen it before when you've done it, but... I, I don't remember you showing me this time, did you? Bye bye. <laughs> Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> Get it? Nothing to lose your head over? Because he lost his head. So fucking funny, dude. Check your map. There should be a teleporter nearby. Guess what you're playing? I'm going to guess either Skyrim, Fallout, or uh da, 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 the fuck's it called the one you've been playing cyberpunk my main guess is cyberpunk 2077 <laughs> although i don't know you could be playing something different who knows oh you did show it to me but i might have been dnd -ing. maybe i don't know you know how my memory is it's not good at all like not even a little bit man this place is crazy always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Yeah, Ratchet. God, dude. Stop Welcome, having fun. Welcome, hero, to your new <laughs> living quarters. Your luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need as a contestant on Dread Zone. Please make yourself comfortable. You'll most likely be spending the rest of your life here. Okay then. Ratchet, you should go find Al. I have marked his location on your map. I think he has something to show. Wait, can you. we move? Oh. The camera was like stuck. Until I hit a button. Hi, vendor. I like the vendor from Rift Apart better, but I guess this one's okay too. A B6 Obliterator. The B6 Obliterator was voted Weapon of the Year by the Galactic Association of Ridiculously Unnecessary Firepower. You'll buy it for the precision ground targeting, but you'll love it for its gratuitous destruction. I love it. <laughs> I wish we had 15,000 nuts and bolts to, to fucking buy it, dude. Although, that looks like a screw. I don't know. Acid. You can also buy mods. Cool, cool, I guess. We will figure out uh, how good the mods are later, I suppose. Does this take us to Rankometer? Is that like an online thing or something like that? Oh, no. Okay, this is like a fake online leaderboard sort of thing. That's neat, I suppose. Playing Skyrim Anniversary Edition with no additional mods. Yeah, that's basically what I did. I did install some mods. Whenever I started playing um, Anniversary Edition, but they were just basic like uh, UI mods and shit, no like game changing mods. And that's how I plan on finishing the game someday. I have something to show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who uh, won't be needing them anymore. 
Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just they are kind of cute. In a, like, idiotic kind of way. Like, <laughs> like happy little idiots, you know? So wait, they just, they're like party members? They just follow me around everywhere? Are these three different vendors, or is it just one big vendor? Red Zone 3030, the Commando. This battered, oh, those are just paint jobs. I don't fucking care about paint jobs. I love. Do you want the rest of this, or? I mean, I can be done if you want the rest of it. It's going to be cold. Well, 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 let it call. <laughs> okay, yeah, it looks like all these vendors are the same. The three, the three platforms. What about you? Are you, are you a vendor? No, you're just, just a guy. Lame. You'll probably end up doing Sky UI and Quality Map. Yeah, I just, I think those ones, you know, they, they technically are mods, but really it just, it's just quality of life stuff, you know? It doesn't really change the game. Yeah. So I don't, I don't really have a problem with stuff like that. Even on a first playthrough or something, I don't think those are necessarily bad. But you should probably try out the game and see if you even feel like you need to change the UI before you do stuff like that. But you know, whatever. Whatever. I've played Skyrim enough that I know I like Sky UI a lot better than the default UI. Space figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next up in the battle dome after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it! Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. At this point in Ratchet's life, is he not like a famous big shot uh, international policeman, essentially? Like, not international, inter... Not interdimensional either. In interspatial? I don't fucking know, dude. Point is, how would they not know who he is? He's literally saved, like, multiple planets. But I guess, like, on the scale of a galaxy, maybe it's possible that they would have uh, missed him or something, you know? Not not knowing who he is, but it still just seems weird. Failure to comply will result in termination. Okay, where, where is that, sir? Is that... Oh, right here, I'm guessing. Fly to the Battle Dome. Okay, let's fucking go, dude. To the Battle Dome. See what the fuck this is about. Greetings, hero or heroine. We thank you for choosing Vox Airways for your traveling needs. Did we have a choice? Have a pleasant flight. I don't Sit think we did. Relax and enjoy our in-flight entertainment. Courtesy of the Vox Network. Not cool. We get little movies while we while we fly to our death. <laughs> the fuck, dude. Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild? Video scratched from over you. Uh, maybe. What's it to you? I'm here for it. Let's go, dude. Let's blow some shit up. <laughs> you know, if you weren't, like, kidnapping people and forcing them to play, maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but, uh... Wait, Ratchet and Clank? So do I actually get to use Clank or not? Because I thought I, I thought I was alone doing this. I'm not gonna lie. How has no one heard of me? <laughs> I guess maybe I haven't saved enough of the universe <laughs> to be famous yet. Saving a few planets isn't good enough, man. 
He looks weird with the fucking armor on, man. We'll see. I think, so far, I think this one here suffers from what Jack 2 suffers from, right? With them trying to be a little bit too serious, a, a bit too gritty. Like they were trying to, you know, they were trying to adult it up a little bit. And I'm not sure that's a good thing, you know? That's it, Did anyone like Ratchet for its... For its, its uh, hardcore... Press down? Treasure director bot? Why does... Okay. That looked like an up button to me or an up arrow, but I don't know. Whatever. Not the bot, bro. But anyways, yeah. I feel like they tried to make it a bit too gritty, a bit too quote-unquote grown up. Kind of like what they did with Jack 2, and I'm not sure that was the right move to make. As a, uh, as a Jack 1 and 2 fan. Mostly Jack 1, but, you know, I'm fairly certain I played Jack 2 and enjoyed it. I just don't remember because it's been a long time, man. I bought some more games the other day. I think I mentioned it yesterday, but, uh, the games that I got, I got Jack 3, so that's cool. That's something that we'll definitely be playing sooner or later. Uh, Jack X Combat Racing, so that's fun. Um, doo -doo -doo, a, a game called Zapper that... I played a little bit of with my brother, and let me tell you, it's a video game. Um, what else? I get some vampire thing. I don't even remember what it is. And Worms 3D, which is a lot better than the Worms Forts game that me and my uh, brother had played on the PS2 before. So I'm happy about that, but I still think the best version of Worms are the, the 2D Worms games, man. Those ones are so much fun. Just fucking blowing up the world around you, trying to murder each other and with uh, physics-based weapons. It kind of reminds me, if you've never played it, but maybe you've played some of the old Flash games on PC, where, like, uh, you're in a tank trying to shoot the other tank. Um, but the, the missiles that you fire actually have physics, so the, they, they drop whenever you shoot them. So you have to like try and aim it up in the air a little bit and get it to drop correctly on the other players and shit like that. Um, it's kind of like that. That's what that's similar to what Worms is, except you have like four or five worms and you have a multitude of weapons instead of just a tank. You have you know bazookas and grenades and um, missiles and and sometimes you get like homing missiles and things. And then you have ridiculous shit like banana bombs and whatnot. It's a lot of fun. Highly suggest it. It's good stuff. I'm dead. <laughs> Why can't we just have normal bridges? Why does it got to be a bunch of floating fucking platforms? Press left to activate your bot's EMP. Interesting. Okay. I'm guessing... I wasn't really listening to what he was saying, but I'm assuming it has something to do with that shield-looking thing. Oh, the shielded-looking thing I meant? But yeah, okay. So it's some sort of... Some sort of mech bro that, that's got a, a big ass shield. Excellent He's dead. <laughs> Give fuck, course. dude. You gotta get Earthworm Jim. Definitely best game involving worm. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not. I've played it. It's not that good. Honestly, the game itself wasn't terrible. My problem with it, as I've mentioned before, is uh, the game glitched out while I was playing it. And that's what fucking ruined it for me personally. Um... Why is that not moving my screen up? I guess I can go into the settings and do it from there. Also, that should be on a sharp. Uh, scaling. Position. That I thought that just moved the picture up whenever I pressed up, but I guess on this newer firmware, it must not. Anyways, there we go. Okay. It was cutting off the word continue, and that was bugging me, so I had to move it up. <laughs> But yeah, like, it wasn't that bad, but then I got to that boss. It's an old episode of JOML, I talk about it, just one more level. But I got to a boss, and it was just glitched the fuck out, man. Like, I, I was trying to kill it, and it just was not taking damage or something. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, it just died easily. Like, it's... I don't fucking know, dude. It's not for me. <laughs> I'm willing to try the other Earthworm Jim games, but the, the first one, at least. Not for me. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. 
It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of Blargy and Natchez! So Blargy and Natchez, I'm sure that's fantastic. Honestly, it sounds like one of those things that would be a delicacy somewhere, but everyone else would just be like, uh. <laughs> Maybe you should have figured out, like, if people actually like your, your big name dude before you made a shit ton of swag of your big name dude, like, to try and sell. Just a suggestion, man. What? This is the interplanetary transport. It will oh, take okay. you to dread zone battle courses on other planets. It Ooh, travels on a planned course. How fancy. Any tampering with the nav computer causes the ship to explode. So don't tamper with the uh <laughs> with the ship's computer, maybe? Unless we want it to explode for some reason, but uh yeah, I don't know about that, man. Chart works on Crusader Tournament, the Valix belt. Vindicator Tournament, Liberator Tournament. Okay. 150,000 dread points required. So that's that's us versus that dude. Who is that? I don't I don't know like recognize any of these people, but I'm sure we'll figure shit out as we get there. I don't know, man. <laughs> you were being sarcastic cuz you know you hated it. It's been so long since you played any of those games to have an opinion on them. I mean, I can understand why people would like them, you know? The animation's neat, the art is nice in general, uh, the sound design isn't bad, the gameplay wasn't terrible, you know? It wasn't my favorite, it, it felt a bit unfair at times, um, and the way things- like, it's just- it's an old school game, you know? Some of the characters are put in places where if you miss a jump, you're just gonna- or like, if you- get hit by an enemy i mean you're you're just gonna instantly fall to your death and things like that which i'm just not a huge fan of but a lot of old games are like that so you can't take too many points from it but still loses points for sure so it's worth checking out it's just not for me honestly hate's probably a strong word if it weren't for that boss being glitched i don't think i would quote unquote hate it it's just you know that pissed me off <laughs> Dread Zone Battle Corps. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh my, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find. Bro, I've saved whole planets. What do you mean scraping the bottom of the barrel? I'm a hero. <laughs> God, these bitches. Ratchet's first objective is a gimme, Juan. Activate vendor. Do we have enough money for anything yet? Oh, there's another new weapon unlocked though. The Hollow Shield Launcher. Dreadzone's Hollow Shield Launcher is a technologically improved version of the top-selling Gadgetron item. This device allows you to shoot out a portable shield anytime and anywhere. The Hollow Shield's patented quantum technology allows your shots to pass through while blocking all enemy fire. Okay, that's cool, I guess. And we also got a napalm adapter. Also very cool. So wait, can we redo like the same fights? over and over again to earn more money or something or because it's just like we've unlocked two weapons already but we've only earned like seven thousand nuts and bolts like we haven't really gotten that much don't tell me what to do i'll command my bots to do as i please man they're my bots So is it completely frozen whenever uh, the EMP hits? I think so. Also, we are like very low on ammo. Oh, hi. <laughs> Didn't see you guys there. Uh. Oh, shit. We're dead. <laughs> GG to us, man. That's all right. Start from the beginning? Yeah. Uh, with like no ammo, though. Hold on. Let me let me refill all ammo. Max out ammo. 317. That's not that bad. I will take that. <laughs> 317 so I can actually fight? Seems fair enough. I can I can accept that. You're dead. You're dead. Okay. How did I lose five health? The fuck did I get hit by, man? What was that? I died in two hits. Do we, we start with fuck all for ammo again? Yeah, basically. At least the max out all ammo button, like, uh, 
the the cost changes depending on how many how much ammo we actually need, which is nice. Oh. Ah, very cool. Okay. So we get we get levels like in the like in the other ratchet game. Or wait. That was a, oh, that wasn't a weapon level though. That was That was just our our personal level increase. Very nice. Get fuck, bitch. So far, I think the shotgun's definitely my favorite weapon, but I mean it's also powerful as shit, so you know. That's probably part of the reason why Circle also shoots? Huh. Weird. Okay, I didn't expect that. For some reason, I pressed Circle to jump. I don't know if I was playing a game recently where Circle would jump. It's these enemies. These enemies do a shit ton of damage, man. I need a health pack. Are there, is there, like, health packs? Can I, can I platform somewhere to maybe get some cool shit? No, I can... <laughs> I can get uh, stuck on geometry, though, easily enough. So Exxon's standing on the jump pad to jump really high. Ooh, imagine that, man. Oh, that was it? That was the entire challenge? Oh, that wasn't that bad. Skill point zero out of 15, what does that mean? We got a thousand bolts. I think that's good, right? It's money. I'll take money. Oh, it's a yeah, mission. It's oh, okay, yeah, no, I definitely... <laughs> Definitely prefer the other Ratchet and Clank games, dude. This game feels like it was made not only for a more quote-unquote adult crowd, but also with the idea of, like, online multiplayer being at its core, you know? Like, uh, trying to, to get high scores on these individual levels, do it quickly for, like, time trials and shit like that. Like, that's, that's totally what it's feeling like. And I'm assuming we can, like, replay sections over and over again to get better and better times as we go on and all that fun stuff. Hey, zombie bros. Uh, zombie bros with a shit ton of health. What the fuck? Okay, one, uh, one good shot from the... Oh, never mind. Two good shots from the shot. He take care of him easy enough. I, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Use the node crank. Where where is it? I remember seeing it earlier. There it is. The node crank? Why wouldn't you just call it the fucking bolt or whatever? Node crank? I'll show you node crank. Oh, they can do it for me now? Bruh, that's cool. Also, hi, zombies. I'm assuming we don't want... Our, our bot friend to die while uh while they're they're rotating so that's a bot friend not an enemy maybe don't try to shoot him did that open the side it did not maybe we have to do all three to extend it that would make sense it's also a decent way to make this one little area last a lot longer make us fight the same enemies over and over again in it every time we turn a uh <laughs> a crank Uh, die maybe? Oh, hi there. Friendos. Oh, little dudes. Yes, I know this. Thank you, game. For telling me how to do basic shit again. Uh, I feel like you can probably cheese that, man. I'm pretty sure you can cheese that if you try hard enough. Get over there to that other platform without going all the way through the uh, through this tunnel area here. Oh, okay, so the magma, so, well, not just the magma cannon. The weapons do upgrade as well. Good. I was a little worried that they weren't going to, but I was obviously off about it. He said level two doesn't do more damage, but can now be modified. I actually kind of wish that would have been, like, level three or something like that, to be honest. Because, like... Level 2, we don't really have any money right now to be buying just random shit. Oh, hi there. Um, can you guys take care of him real quick? 
Thank you. <laughs> this thing's strong as shit. I'd rather not die. Because he has a shield and I forget to get rid of it. Oh, hi there. I'm sure you're totally friendly, right? Can we actually blow up the ship or am I just wasting ammo? I mean, it's locking onto it, so I'm assuming it works. Uh, excuse me, I was firing? Thank you. G fucking G guy. Oh, we took a hit at some point. I don't even remember taking one, but I see we're at nine health. Was it when that, that, that thing, the armored thing, started shooting at us? Maybe it was. I don't know. Uh, hello. You're dead. Let's just go over to the platform. I, I, I don't know, I'm torn between, like, killing everything I can see and just trying to get to the end of the level. Killing everything we can see probably means more money, which means more weapons, more upgrades, ensuring that we have full ammo whenever we come into a level. Although... The ammo's already so cheap that I don't think we probably have to worry much about that. But still, you know, more money is better, question mark. But at the same time, I also just kind of want to get done with the level. <laughs> get on to the next one, whatever that may be. Speaking of, where are we going? Um, guessing to the blue star looking area. So around the hill? nap time skill point what are these skill points <laughs> i'm assuming they're kind of like achievements you know we do we do something in the game we get a bonus for doing so i'm assuming it's something like that okay we still have our swing shot that's nice jump towards swing shot target and press r1 to swing very cool kind of weird that it's the uh also the the shoot button but Tis fine, tis fine. Nothing worth complaining about. Um, is that thing going to attack us? No, is that, can we use that? That's the land stacker? I'm assuming we can use that. Oh, that's what the 0, 15 skill points were. The little achievement-like things. Got it. You forgot the blades had Asian roots in Skyrim? Like Asian inspire inspiration, I mean. Comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo sized drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. And stock controls, move left, Sunday move right, night, jump, day, sidestep, fire gun, right charge mortars. Fire mortars, okay. So Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those quasar orbs. That should clear the way. How do we know when it's charged? Oh, there's a little graphic on the back. It also does make a bit of noise. So I guess there's that too. Do we have ammo with this thing or is it unlimited? I'm thinking it might be unlimited. Oh, wait. Shoot the fuck out of the ship, dude. There we go. Now we can destroy the ship. Can we just... Yeah, we can just have the, the turret going all the time. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Yeah, it seems like there's no reason to not have the... Uh, the fucking turret going. Max nanotech increased? What does that mean? I'm assuming it's a good thing. But I don't really know what we did, not gonna lie. So this thing's got some wicked ass targeting. Are we being shot at? Hi, friendo. Uh, you're gonna die now. Oh, another one. Hi. Can I, can I shoot you? No, I guess not. That must be like... The, the guy with the camera or something, you know? Like, filming this whole thing for some reason. That makes me think of, like, the documentary and, like, commercial um, filmers, cameramen, whatever. Uh, <laughs> photographers? Anyways, point is, they'll be, they'll be, like, in some part of the world with, you know, a lot of starving people and, and crime and things like that. And, like, they'll be, there'll, there'll be, like, a starving child and they'll be taking pictures of it and, and or shooting commercials using using footage of the, the starving child. And it's like, dude, how can you just sit there and watch this fucking child starve instead of just, I don't know, giving them a fucking sandwich or something? Like, I, I never understood that, man. 
I guess maybe they tell their themselves, you know, it's to raise awareness and the more awareness, the more good can be done in the long run. But like, I hope at least that they like give that child something to eat and then they're like, okay, now look sad and hungry for me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is still kind of fucked up, but it's a hell of a lot better than just making some child starve for an unnecessary amount of time. For real. Are we still in the machine? Because if we're still in the machine, this is going to be trivial at best. No, we're not. Okay. Ow, dude, we didn't even get a chance to move yet. Give me a second, Zombros. Oh, that's cool. I just noticed that some of the zombies uh, split into two. Like, they're the top half of their body is just walking around trying to get to you. And then the, uh, the bottom half is walking around aimlessly. Looks like they have no idea what the hell they're doing. Probably because, you know, they can't see or hear or do anything, really. That's cute. I like that. Oh, hi there, friend. You were awfully close. Hey, sp speaking to my fellow Bethesda game lovers out there, um, if you guys play Fallout, I don't remember if any of you actually play Fallout, but the, uh, the Fallout 3 recreation for Fallout 4, or in Fallout 4, is going pretty well. They recently released the completed version of uh, Point Lookout, the DLC for Fallout 3. They've, they released the uh, completed version of it completely remade in Fallout 4. So if you're Fallout 3 fan, dude, you should download it. Even if you're not a Fallout 3 fan, it's a pretty cool area to play around in. And, uh, I mean, it's a DLC, or it's a DLC-sized mod. So uh, that's fucking cool, you know? More Fallout 4 goodness. And if you like Fallout 3, then a, a bit of a trip down memory lane at the same time. You don't play it, but you've heard of it, Rude? Dude, you should totally try it out. It's a lot of fun, man. I love the Fallout series. It is a shooter, but it's like... It's not 100% focused on the shooting. It's also about... I mean, it's made by the same people that make Skyrim, so... It's also about the exploration and the interaction with people, etc., etc. Fallout 3's DLCs are amazing. Yeah, dude. I never finished Point Lookout, but I'm probably going to download it for Fallout 4 and complete it there, because that looks a lot of fun. Like, a lot of fun. ...objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating dread challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. It's a post-apocalyptic world where you're just trying to survive, man. I don't know. Doesn't seem that weird to me. <laughs> but you're entitled to your opinion. That's fine. You can think it sounds weird. I personally love it, though. There, There's... Uh, it's... I probably like Fallout more than I like Elder Scrolls. Probably. I go back and forth on that, but... But, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I probably like Fallout more, Fallout Three and Fallout Four more than I like, uh, than I like any of the Elder Scrolls games that I've played. But I still absolutely fucking love, you know, the Elder Scrolls games. Don't get me wrong. But something about Fallout just resonates with me a bit more than uh, than than Skyrim and shit does most of the time. Okay, strafe is L2 R2, jump is X, fire guns is R1. Okay. Uh, can we miss rings? We probably can't miss that many rings. Is there a restart? Uh, doesn't look like it. That's a problem. Um, <laughs> wait. Okay, so maybe maybe we sh need to strafe a little bit to, to get through this, really? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I do not like the controls of this. These controls are not amazing, to say the least. I'm assuming the goal is just to get through as many as possible, more so than to actually be killing things. So I'm just going to try to get through shit. Oh, God. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I, I mean, I assume there's probably no reason to ever stop shooting our guns, just like when we're using that other thing. But there's no way we're going to get this, man. Between fucking up in the, the beginning and then missing two rings now as we're, as we're going through. Ow. We get a little bit of time, it seems like, every time we go through a ring, but we're already so far fucking behind. Oh, God. We just missed another one. 38, 39. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. 
That was fucking close. We were like a second and a half there for a minute. Okay, so we get a thousand bullets and then some dread points. What exactly do the dread points do again? I don't know. We probably don't have to do all that. Can we just go into the... Oh. You can earn them by beating the dread okay. I see. Is there any here? Once they are unlocked. Maybe not. Destruction Derby. Hop in the land stock and destroy as many dread zone enemies and structures as you can before time runs out. Okay, whatever. We'll try it. The pit was super interesting and you were hyped when it was announced. Yeah, the pit was a lot of fun. Um, I really like uh, like Fallout 76 too is, is interesting to me, right? Um, like it's, it's fun, but it's not the game I wish it was. <laughs> like, cause I, I more or less just wish that it was Fallout 3 or 4, but with multiplayer. Um, oh, that's cool. Anyways, um, but they did announce that they are going to have, like, adventures outside of uh, the West Virginia setting that it's in. And one of the first ones that they that they showed was the returning to the pit. I don't know if it ever ended up coming out, like, yet or not. But still, the fact that they're working on it is really cool. And it makes me, it makes me want to finish Fallout 76 that much more. I do enjoy 76. I just think, you know, 3 and 4 are a lot better of games. And I don't know how they possibly thought releasing it without any uh, NPCs was a good idea. You know, I think they they really fucked up that one, man. <laughs> like, that was, in my opinion, objectively a terrible idea. So wait. Okay, so our goal was just to kill 61 things. We did that. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too hard. I don't know, like, what time the time to beat was. I don't know if it said that anywhere, but we got 2,000 dread points. That seems, that seems like a decent amount, right? Rank more water points. Through, oh, that's our personal rank. Well, Wards 1,000 points. Is that because we've beat them already? So we get, if we were to replay the challenge, we get less bolts and less points? I imagine that's probably what it is. I this did is not read. Our contestant will have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. You gotta love it. Okay, so break shit. Got it. Where, where's the shit we need to break? Is this it? Oh, the, 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 the bots do it. Okay. Yeah, God, why, why would I want to do anything? I just make the bots do all the work for us, man. It's not like I'm playing a video game here and I, I want to do stuff. Oh, we have to place it on all four sides. That's probably good to know. Tomorrow is kick your best friend in the pants day, guys, in case you didn't know that. Make sure, make sure you kick your best friend in the pants tomorrow. Because uh, some random video game told you to. Uh, out of ammo? Oh, hi, you're still alive. Holy shit. <laughs> that laugh worries me a little bit, Rue. Try not to hurt your friends while you're kicking them in the pants. But, uh, yes. The video game demands that you kick your friends in the pants. So, now it must be done. I feel like we're getting levels pretty quick, but that may also just be because we're, you know, still in the beginning of the game, though, too. Ow. This is not going to end well for us. Um, can we, like, I don't know, get some ammo, maybe? Five magma cannon ammo? Thank you, but I, I need... <laughs> I'm going to need much more than that, man. I mean, okay, we'll use what we have to kill a couple dudes. They released the DLC on disc for 360, didn't need a code or anything. We all just installed it the same way they did with the Shivering Irols DLC. That's trash. I hate when they do that stuff, man. Like, if the content's already... Oh, I, I imagine that, like, the day one patch or whatever patch, you know, probably did finish the DLC or whatever. Like, the patch is probably patched in the finish. I'm sorry. Patched in the rest of the DLC. Um, I... I I want to believe that it wasn't, you know, that 
that blatant of a haha fuck you type of thing where they just like had this thing completely done and ready to go and then just didn't give it to you but who knows man as much as I love Bethesda's games, they are not immune to doing shitty things, you know? Any any company can do shitty stuff. As much as much as it pains me to say it, God Howard is not always a great person. <laughs> or at least the, the company it works for does not always make great decisions. You know. At the end of the day, they're a business just trying to make money. You forgot about the lemonade. I was very confused on why there was random water bottles in an ice cream container. Yeah, I'd be pretty confused too. <laughs> That's fair, honestly. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Um, what is what does this one do? The B6 Obliterator. Uh, okay, that's our that's our that's our uh, grenade launcher sort of thing. So like in in Ratchet Rift Apart, how we could throw the grenades. This is basically the same thing, but. Uh, in noob tube form. I'm into it. I like it. Uh, it does not have very much ammo, though. I need something, please. Maybe the magma cannon. Oh, yes. So many dudes get fucked. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> there really are a shit ton of dudes here. Uh, magma cannon level three. Let's go. Received a speed mod? Does that mean it shoots faster? Very cool, very cool. What does square do? Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, like our... Not our, our gun, but the... Uh, the, the, whatever... Equipment we have attached, I guess? Equipment would be the right word? It was great lean, basically. One of us had to buy the DLC and the rest got it for free. Oh, you mean like what? <laughs> Sorry, I don't I don't really know what you mean there with that. I apologize. I'm sure I'm just being an idiot here, but yeah. I'm 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 missing what you're saying. I'm not I'm not picking up what you're putting down there, bro. You got Serena, so you think <laughs> Outer Scrolls is better? That's fine. Like I said, man, I go back and forth. There are times where I like Elder Scrolls better. But I would say I like Fallout more more often than than Elder Scrolls. But both are amazing franchises. Like they're both really, really good. And I think it says something about Bethesda's way of making games that two of my favorite franchises come from the same fucking company. Like Ow, bro. Why why does it keep auto picking the fucking shield? I don't want the shield. <laughs> I, the shield is cool and all, but sometimes, you know, I would rather use a fucking gun than a shield. Sometimes I choose violence. And I want the game to respect that decision, please. Uh, Obliterator? This looks like a good time for it. Because there are dudes out the fucking ass. Uh, what we really need, though, is some fucking health. Oh, fuck. We're dead. Shit! We were so close. <laughs> so close. Now if they could hurry up and give us six. Yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath on that one though, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I would love if they did that as well, but yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, let's do acid, I guess. It's the cheaper one. Configure mods, yes. So how does this work? You will need to add and remove the mods okay. in order to put them on You can only weapons. put it on one weapon Select at a time. Weapon. Scroll down to the alpha upgrade press X and press alpha X to mods. Enter the alpha modification menu. Oh my All god, alpha what? Mods of the same type can be equipped on the same weapon. Increases knockback to enemy? I don't want that. Ammo mod. A mega mod. You can unequip an alpha mod at any time and place it back into the alpha equip. mod Oh, I don't... I don't know if I... What does this do? Like, the select thing. Anyways, I, I don't know if I like... Like this menu that they got going on here. Um, hmm. 
Okay, so wait. So we, we have the acid attached to that. Does that mean we can also attach... Can we attach the acid to more than one thing at a time? We can. But we can't do the alpha mods on more than one thing at a time. We can only do that on one. Okay. That's fine. So the acid, is that damage over time? It is. It's DOT. So I don't know if that's really necessary on the gun that we have. But I mean, extra damage is extra damage. I guess it doesn't really matter what, where it comes from, you know? Hurting stuff uh, helps. That's, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, the goal here is to hurt things real bad, man. I probably shouldn't be using my shotgun to break little boxes and shit when I have a unlimited use fucking whatever that tool is called that he carries around all the time. Wrench. <laughs> he has an unlimited use wrench. We should probably make use of that a little bit to break little boxes and shit, but nah, no one ever said I was smart. Lean was supposed to mean basically Bethesda release Fallout 3 DLCs and Oblivion DLCs on a disc, so as long as one person had the disc, you could just borrow it and install, and then you both had the DLC for the price of one? Yeah, but wouldn't it only, wouldn't the DLC only work with the account that was like signed in that had purchased it or how does how did that work I guess like because I'm thinking like on modern day consoles right like if I signed into your your Xbox or your PlayStation I guess since I'm more familiar with PlayStation and I owned all of the DLC for Final Fantasy 7 remake or whatever right just because I installed the Final Fantasy 7 remake DLC doesn't mean that you can play it on your account, right? Or am I missing something? I, I don't share my console. It's not like it's mine. Leave me alone. It's, it's I don't live with any other gamers. So like, yeah, but that was the beauty of it. It was literally just an install disk. It was not single use or unique to any account. Weird. Okay. I, I, I have no idea why they would do that, but I mean, hey, whatever, you know? Like you said, I guess it wasn't a bad thing for you at the end of the day. Still a really weird decision on their part, though. That's how it is for you. Your console, no touch. Hey, man, that's fine, too. But, like, I wouldn't want to give my console to someone to borrow. But, like, when my brother came over or something, if he wanted to play a game, like, if he started to live with me for some reason, you know, I would, uh... He could play on my console, I guess. Now allows you to access planet uh, yes, please. Change planet. Actually, it's almost time for a break, too. I just looked over and we got five minutes left. Before the uh, auto mod. Auto mod? Fuck, dude. I'm tired today. I don't know if I told you guys this or if it's apparent or not. But holy hell, am I tired? Let's watch this video real quick. It's kind of fucking gruesome, dude. <laughs> Man, fuck them kids. <laughs> Holy hell. That's right, kids. Exterminator trading cards are here. There's Reactor, Shell Shock, the Eviscerator, and your favorite exterminator, Ace Hardlight. Collect them all and exterminate your friends today. <laughs> exterminate your friends today. Uh, game? I don't know if you know this or not, but that doesn't sound too good, man. <laughs> I don't think you should be selling that card game to kids, dude. Not like that, at least. <laughs> oh. They can play with me, but no one else besides your Uncle Jared, who you're so proud of for getting really getting into Skyrim. It amazes me the breadth of people that really get into Skyrim, man. Like, it really was a game that... uh that just like check check the right boxes for a very large group of people like serious gamers casual gamers older folks younger folks you know just people of all walks of life seem to really love skyrim now of course there's also a lot of people that don't like skyrim and that's fair 
but like holy hell there's so many people that i've talked to that don't really play video games but they've put like 300 hours into skyrim and it's just it amazes me man that is awesome you know and uh i don't know skyrim is a really really good game i one of these days i want to try the other ones more than i have because i've tried a tiny bit of oblivion and morrowind but i i've only put in maybe like five hours into each or something like that like i haven't played nearly enough to really have an opinion on those games you like you like exterminator fuck them kids indeed i knew you would he has two characters a high elf mage and a khajiit stealth archer uh this classic stealth archer dude powerful as shit the second he saw where I was, he knew instantly what town was close by and even to exchange tips and stories. It was amazing. That's really cool. That's really, really fun, man. But we are going to take that break real quick. So we only got a couple minutes left before uh, Twitch runs an ad automatically for me. So we are going to switch over to the please wait of you. We're going to run the ad and we'll be back in like three ish minutes, guys. Some sort of sword here, just a short sword, I suppose and some clothing a tunic very nice what else do we have we have our character screen uh, again it's weird how the controls kind of like flip through things so quickly chain added blow standard secondary attack plus damage with amount of damage taken oh so are these like i think these are maybe moves that we can do maybe we can press press like the uh the d-pad to do different attacks or something like that um we have uh, standard stuff here. We got level, HP, AP, speed, blah, 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 resistances, AI, melee. Oh, okay. So this, like, we can gain party members or something at some point, and we can tell them to fill a certain role, it looks like, maybe. Very nice. All right. So I think that's probably all we need to know at the moment. The camera is currently on high, auto, low. We'll do auto. Auto seems fair. uh already we got some weird popping off in the distance here but that's okay we can get over that sort of thing not that big a video and when you're playing a bunch of old retro games and whatnot pop in is the standard can we interact with the people it doesn't seem like it the frame rate feels a little off on this game it's just just first impression here like everything feels a little uh a little jerky right but Let's see. Dialogue tutorial. This is Joseph's friend, Moloch. And Joseph can talk to nearby friendly characters by pressing X. The game pauses, a cursor appears, blah, blah, blah. You can cycle through all characters in range with a left analog stick. Okay. Characters with important information have double exclamation parts above their heads. Once you have selected the character with whom you would like to speak, press X again to initiate a conversation. Go ahead and talk to Moloch. weird i guess uh okay we worked in the fields planting weed and rye the day's shadows grew long over natives hill i saw the ride them ride four horsemen with an army of butchers close behind well that sucks <laughs> when joseph is talking to a character the dialogue appears in the top half of the window the bottom half of the window contains a list of relevant topics that we can ask about so pretty standard uh uh dialogue system here although at the time on ps2 this was probably pretty neat to have right because you didn't really get this sort of thing on console i'm sure there were other games that did it but i'm thinking like outer scrolls on the xbox 360 i guess uh, the original xbox had morrowind right been reading more of strixhaven they include fellow npc students that have their own backstories very cool can they like join the party nate or are they just kind of their own separate thing just kind of like world filler building type of stuff uh, when a topic has been covered, it is removed from the topic list. New topics are added to the list as more information is uncovered. Access to new topics can also be gained after completing quests or talking to other characters. Very standard stuff. Moloch has quite a bit to tell Joseph. Go ahead and continue talking to him. You can stop the conversation anytime by choosing the farewell topic or just pressing triangle. Very nice. Horsemen, you say? Half men, half beasts, villains from a bard's song. They carved poor Ruag in half. They attacked us with arrows of flame. He who survived are too scared to stay and too scared to run. Well, I mean, you kind of have to do one or the other. Remember that many characters in Summoner have important and interesting things to say. Talk to everyone you can. I mean, that's kind of standard RPG affair, right? If you're playing an RPG and not talking to everyone, you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, no, please don't. Can we, uh, can we, can we, nope okay we are back uh pineapple does not go on pizza just so everyone knows out there 
Uh, I am a firm no pineapple on pizza person. Actually, I'm a firm do whatever the fuck you want person, but I'm never putting pineapple on my pizza. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if I go to your house, man, and you buy pizza for, 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 you know, everyone, say you're having, I don't know, a house party or some shit and I'm there, or like we're just hanging out and you, you treat me to some pizza, then like, yeah, dude, I'll eat your nasty ass pineapple pizza. But I am never going to willingly put pineapple on my own pizza. Like, <laughs> just no, dude. It ruins it. Why? Not everything needs to be sweet. <laughs> and to me, unless it's a dessert pizza, that's one of them. Like, you know, dessert pizza aside, pizza does not need to be sweet, dude. I don't even like sweet sauce on my pizza. It's gross. <laughs> I can't do it. I just don't like it. It's not for me. I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other thing that I wanted to say. Um, since I have most of the viewership here at the moment, the, the, the usual viewership at least, we're missing a few people, but, you know, we're, we're usually missing a few people. Anyways, uh, the point that I'm trying to get to, not this coming Wednesday, but next Wednesday, I plan on doing the 12-hour stream that we've been uh, slowly but surely building our way up to. So look forward to that, man. We're definitely going to be playing some Fable because Nate's been requesting that and even put some points toward it. Maybe don't go in that dirty hole. Uh, words to live by right there. Anyways, uh, so we're definitely going to be playing some Fable. I haven't decided the other games that I'm going to be playing yet, um, but I'm sure it'll be some fun stuff. I don't know the exact time it's going to start, but it'll probably be... Mr. Noodle is fairly certain that they are off. And if they are off, then that means it'll probably be starting around 12-ish in the afternoon. Times may change leading up to, you know, the stream itself. Uh, you confirm Noodle is off, so it'll be a later stream instead of a gross early stream. Thank you very much, because Lord knows I did not want to wake up early to stream, dude. I don't want to wake up early for anything. You could tell me you're going to be doing your favorite thing in the entire world tomorrow, and I'm going to be like, dude, I don't want to fucking get up early, though. <laughs> like, bruh, don't make me do that. It's fucking gross. So... Glad to hear that. But anyways, I still don't know, like, the exact time it's going to start. Probably closer to 12 o'clock. Uh, maybe a little bit later. I would prefer to start it around 1 or 2, but I play D&D on Wednesday nights. So, like, yeah, we'll we'll see exactly what time it starts. To be determined. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to be playing Fable for sure. Uh, we'll also most likely be playing, you know, one or two PS2 games, of course. Maybe get a little bit of extra Oomsphere in, although probably not, to be honest. Not that, like, I have any problem with Sphere, not even a little bit, but, like, I just, I'm trying to do some other stuff. You know, change it up a little bit. So, wait, did we do, like, the short way? Because it looked like we could go all the way around there, too. Uh, but anyways, if there's like specific games you're wanting to see or anything like that, feel free to shout it out and I will put it into consideration. The other one that I'm considering is maybe a couple hours of, um, a couple hours of fucking Stardew Valley with, with the Dorseman. Or if Noodle's home, maybe I could do a couple hours of mine and her farm something. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll find out. I think I would rather do mine and Dorseman's farm on stream. Just because with my mods, if I need to, I can... Oh, hi there, dude. Um, if I need to, I can, like, pause the, the game in in my, my PC run. I can't pause the game on mine and Noodle's farm uh, and not in multiplayer. Whenever you're playing single player, obviously, you can you can pause the game and shit. But, um, but on multiplayer, you don't have that option. Once the, once the farm is running, the farm is running. Like, you just have to... <laughs> You just have to accept that and move on with your life. Like, it makes the days so much shorter, man. That's the the one problem I ha I have playing multiplayer with uh, on Stardew Valley is how much shorter the days end up being. Because normally, like, whenever you're fishing, just as an example, right? Anytime you're fishing, the while you're playing the little mini game to catch the fish, the game pauses. Whenever you're in chess, working on your inventory or whatever the game pauses 
Whenever you're looking at options or the map or some shit, the game pauses. Whenever you're watching a cutscene for like a villager or an event or something like that, the game pauses. But whenever you're in multiplayer, the game never fucking pauses. Like, <laughs> ever, dude. And uh, that bugs me. But other than that, like, it's a lot of fun in multiplayer. Like, can we play Mario Kart or Mario Party? Dude, yeah, we could do that. I wish I had Mario Party. I don't. But uh, we could totally do Mario Kart. I do have Mario Kart on Switch. So we could definitely play some of that like uh, as, a, as a stream. I don't know who all has it. I know I'm pretty sure OptiJack has it. I know I have it, of course. I'm assuming you have it, Rue, since you asked about it. Um, who else? The Dorseman might have it, but I have no idea what his schedule is that day, if he's going to be off or home or, or available or anything like that. So we'll have to see. Send me your friend codes. I will, man. I don't know it off the top of my head, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll post it in Discord. We should probably make like a uh, section in Discord, honestly, just for that sort of thing. If I remember, I will do so. If I don't remember, someone should remind me to do so. And we will uh, make a section of the Discord dedicated to like uh, to finding a group, like an LFG channel or something like that. Looking for group. So people can add other people to, uh, you know, PlayStation, Switch, whatever fucking console they have. You know, like our farm side noodle? I love our farm, dude. Honestly, it's one of my favorite farms. Like, I've put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours into that game. And uh, the, the playthrough I'm doing with Noodle right now is probably my favorite. I'm, I'm honestly having a lot of fun with it. We have a goal in mind, which I think is really good in these, you know, semi-open-ended games. Oh, shit! Ru just redeemed all kinds of things. Posture check, hydrate, stretch, all kinds of shit. I, I'm paying attention. I saw it before you said, hey, listen. I beat you to it. You're just on delay, so you didn't see that I said, saw it. Said it? Saw it? Said, saw and said. Holy fuck. Anyways, I'm going to stand up and stretch, and then I'll sit down and do a posture check, and then I'll hydrate. So <laughs> let's do that, man. Everyone else, too. Fucking posture yourselves, dude. <laughs> oh, Yeah, get that back crack in there when you stand up. Feels good. Oh, man. I have no idea what you're saying no to. Oh, <laughs> you're saying no to posture check. Damn it, Noodle, you're not playing along. Uh, that feels good. No, you were the one delayed. How am I the one delayed? I get your messages instantly. You get my video in like 10 seconds. So I don't know who's delayed here, but you know. Hi, L for Nord. I mean, I've played Nords a lot. Are you going magic or not? Like, are you just doing... Are you just doing like regular? I mean, I'm going to do the poll. I see that you want the poll. I'm going to do the poll. But uh, for my personal you know, vote that I can't actually vote. I need to know, are you doing, are you doing magic or not? Okay. Poll time, poll time, manage poll, new poll. Ruse, uh, race in sky rim. Hi, elf, Nord. Any other ones that you want to go on the poll before I hit go? You always put some in restoration and some conjuration, but you're not sure you're going to focus on it. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely get like the restoration stuff for sure, because not having to chug potions all the time really comes in handy. But uh, yeah. All right. One minute. Everyone go. Hi, Alfred Nord. What is Rue going to play in Skyrim? I will say my vote right before it ends because I don't want to sway anyone else's votes. Um, but I know which one I, I would pick in this case, I think. I mean, like, I kind of know. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to pick sometimes, man. <laughs> oh, okay. This vehicle controls weird. You steer with the right stick and you move forward and back with the left stick. Uh, okay, we're dead. <laughs> that was fucking weird. Car does go zoom, that is for sure. 
You were gonna use my answer because you don't know. Nords are like, uh, like your big bulky dudes and and women, and then high elves are like your tall, skinny, magic using people. They're they're your vampires. Nords are your 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 werewolves. Okay, I'll pick high elf. Okay, it was a good thing I picked because it was 50-50. <laughs> Basic bitch versus elf. Yeah, I I, I picked high elf. You like tall and skinny? Yeah, she does like tall and skinny. This is true. Uh, one of you guys want to, like, rotate this for me or something, I guess? Because do we have a cannon? We do have a fucking cannon shot. Very nice, dude. I should have, like, maybe read the uh, the thing before we fucking <laughs> did this. Where? What are we actually trying to do? I didn't even, like... I paid no attention to what the fuck we were doing here. Are we supposed to be, like... We're probably supposed to be doing something. Ravager, go. Go, the, the little bots, go boom. Are we trying to blow up all of those things? The the cameras? I can't seem to uh, aim up or down. Especially emos and goths. I mean, yeah. I don't know about tall and skinny, but... Emo and goth, I'm all for that. Can one of you guys please spin the fucking thing? I've hit the button like three times now, dude. But yeah, looks like looks like you're playing a high elf, dude. I just like I like Nords, but I've played so many Nords and they are kind of, you know, your basic combat race. So most of the time I think it's kind of fun just to do something different. But both are good, you know what I mean? Now, and if you're going to be going like into magic, then obviously having the uh the high elf is nice cuz they get I, it's what the highest um, amount of, of magic or the highest I don't remember exactly what it is point is they're good they're good on the magic man <laughs> your vote is on Breton Breton wasn't a pick damn it like you said basic bitch yeah pretty much pretty much man okay we must just be trying to spin all these things um, what is stop shooting me damn it Oh, you can go over a vehicle pad to repair damage? That's actually nice. Is that what this is? It is. Uh, what happens, though, if we're being attacked while we're on the vehicle pad? One node remains. It must be here, the big blue star thing. Nate makes a point. Breton is good, too. The Breton, the Breton is also very good for magic, right? If I remember correctly. Look, I never cared that much about Skyrim races because at the end of the day, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Like, you can play any race you want and still play whatever kind of character you want, which I appreciate on the one hand, but it's also nice to, to you know, have a little bit of diversity in your, in your character types. So, yeah, you know. But it's also nice that you don't have to feel limited by... by like if you want to be a magic user, you don't have to play a certain a certain race or whatever is nice. But oh shit, we can actually get out. I didn't know we could actually get out of the vehicle. Okay, let's go, Leviathan. Lore says they descended from the elf and humans who. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I vaguely remember that. Imperial with their gold thing though. I want to know like how much gold do the Imperials actually get extra on average through like an entire playthrough out of uh, like chests and things like that I know they do get extra but is it is it enough to really make it worth it I don't know man hey Mr. Noodle thank you so much for the five more bits love I appreciate you challenge fucking complete man let's go on to the next one a decent bit more you know there's some damn math to it but you can't remember it yeah i'm sure someone's calculated exactly what the average is uh probably on reddit but <laughs> but i have no idea i've never i've never looked into it i just know the couple times that i've tried an imperial i don't think i've ever like finished an imperial run but the couple times i've tried imperial i feel like or felt like it just really didn't end up being worth it compared to the other ones but again one of the beautiful beautiful things about skyrim is you can basically do whatever the hell you want you know you can play any race any character and it'll be fine 
any race for any kind of character, I guess. Any any type of character. And it still works out at the end of the day. Oh wait, we unlocked the ability to put a mod on our weapon, I believe. Yes, so let's go ahead and equip that. We might as well do poison damage with, with our gun while we're using it. <laughs> you hope everyone's pee peed because we're not breaking for commercial anytime soon. Very nice. Uh, Dual Vipers, please and thank you. You know what game I miss and really want to play on stream? Pokemon. But not only like the new Pokemons, but like classic Pokemon games. I really, man, I really wish I had time to just do like stream damn near every day. If I could stream full time, I'd be doing so many games, man. <laughs> do it. The problem is like, I just feel like I can't do it very well. One, I can't play classic Pokemon right now because I have no way to capture it. So like that's, that's, you know, one issue. Um, but also like I, I want to get through the PS2 stuff. So I wouldn't mind doing that like as a, as a one-off sort of thing or whatever. But like, do I, do I want to do a one-off of a Pokemon run? No, I'd probably want to play through the entire game and most likely do like a uh, challenge run of some sort. So it is what it is though. Uh, hi there. You look fun. Can I get a shield down real quick, maybe? Uh, where is my hollow shield launcher? We'll just put that right there and then obliterate your ass. Please and thank you. Yeah, you ain't so bad now, are you? You can't shoot through my fucking shield that's about to blow the fuck up. Also, you come out of there? I didn't know you came out of there. I thought you were, like, stuck in there, to be honest with you. Um, I kind of like it better when you're you're stuck in your, your little hole. If you just want to, like, stay over there, that's that'd be fine, man. I wouldn't be too upset about that. Uh, it's about to blow up again, ain't it? My bot's dead. Honestly, though, like, your laser doesn't seem that dangerous. I'm sure if it hits us, it probably does a shit ton of damage. But, like, man, I don't know. Kind of seemed like a bitch to me, Mr. Leviathan. Kind of ain't shit, dude. That's all I'm saying. Although, saying that, like, you're still not dead. And that's kind of annoying. I need ammo. Do we have any ammo for anything? No. We are out of ammo for literally everything. Is there ammo laying around anywhere? Ow. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, that does hurt. That did, what, like, eight, nine damage or something? Dual Viper ammo. Very nice. We will start shooting. Please and thank you. Holy fuck. Uh, ah, don't fucking hit me. Don't fucking hit me. Okay. Put down, put down a shield. And do we have, we are, like, out of fucking ammo again already. Holy shit, dude. Uh, we might die. Actually. I'm sorry for talking shit, uh, dude, bro. Uh, revive. <laughs> Just give me shields, please. <laughs> I need, I need help. How much health does this thing have left? Oh, good, he's dead. Oh, thank God, dude. That was actually really close. <laughs> Nate, have you tried the new Aussie-style lemonade monster? I'm still just stuck on what the hell is Aussie style lemonade. If anyone knows what Aussie style lemonade is, please do tell because I am very curious what that is, you know? Like, is it sweeter? Is it more tart? Do they add something other than lemonade or I'm sorry, lemon, lemon juice, water and sugar? I, I, what is Aussie style? Alcoholic? Maybe. Maybe, although the monster wouldn't be, but... So, I don't know. You have a decent bit at your store. It's really good. Check the other stores close to you to see if they have it. Yeah, I don't... I don't know, man. I'm sure a quick Google search would probably tell us. Let's just do that. Google it up. What is Aussie style lemonade? That is like one of the top searches right now. Uh, that is the monster though. Monster Swiss on classic lemonade. We hit the ideal balance of tart and sweet with a burst of fresh citrus flavor. Um, okay, but that's just talking about monster again. 
What is what is Aussie style lemonade like? What is what what? What is this, man? What is Aussie style lemonade? It's like one of the top search results, and it's all just links to <laughs> to Monster. Okay, there's a uh, there's a food.com recipe for Aussie style lemonade. It's one and a half cups sugar, two cups water, two lemons, rind of, finely shredded, or orange, or orange and lemon, and then one cup of lemon juice. So it's just it's just regular lemonade but maybe with a little bit of like orange in it maybe i don't know man although honestly a little bit of orange in lemonade probably would probably would sound good or sound good probably would taste good you forgot this made me this made lets me have really cool hair colors mod and the blue looks so good but it feels slightly out of place but you love it it's a video game, dude. Fuck it. Do it. <laughs> Take your blue ass hair and enjoy it. You know? How the hell is the Omega Shield gonna have a... Oh, fuck. Not the hover bike again. A, uh, an acid... Oh, God. Um, mod. Like, I don't... The, the shield doesn't do damage to anyone, right? So is it, like, if they run into it, or... How does, how does that work? Oh, okay, we're going the wrong fucking way. Oh, God. I don't like this bike. I, I much prefer that other vehicle we were using. It works way fucking better than the bike does. <laughs> oh, God. The bike is just, like, very floaty, man. It doesn't really want to, like, turn too well. Ow. Oh, God. We also got to be careful that we don't die. We missed one. Can you reverse a little bit faster, please? Just, just a little bit. Oh, fuck. Okay, we, we got it. Sharp turn. Go through the hole. And... Uh, oh, we actually got that one. That did not look like we touched it, man. I'm not gonna lie. Please blow up the shit. Honestly, like, it doesn't look bad, in my opinion, though, for a PS2 game. I just wish it was a bit more vibrant, a bit more varied like what I remember the original game being. Which, if you recall me complaining about Jack 2 the other day, was a very similar complaint I had there. I like vibrant video games, man. I don't think everything needs to be so serious all the time. Serious? Serious. I can't use words. Words don't work. You have a question? What kind of question? Is your question, um, why am I so in love with you if it is because you're amazing obviously is your question uh why are you such a weenie it's because you just are everyone knows that and there's nothing we can do about it um <laughs> which crossbody do you want to carry tomorrow i have no idea love what a what you ruined it <laughs> uh. What uh? What are the options? What are your like your top two picks? And then and then myself and chat can help you narrow it down from there. But what are the uh, top two picks that you have for your crossbodies, love? Because I mean, you have what? Do you have three at this point, or is it four? How many do you have? Even I'm not a hundred percent positive, to be honest. Can we go any faster in this thing? Uh, dude, you're gonna be shaving your head of hair. That's what's gonna happen. Cause I'ma fucking destroy these things, and then you're gonna get fucked. What's a crossbody? It's a miniature purse, and the chain that holds it or strap or whatever crosses your body. Or is meant to, at least. You don't have to carry it that way, of course, but it, it, it's built to, to have like the the chain go from one shoulder between your tits to uh and then hang like the 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 purse itself hang at your uh the other side so like you would have it going over your right shoulder um and but the the thing on itself would be on your left you got him trained well <laughs> i mean it's called a cross body so if you think about it it just makes sense you know it crosses your body. That's why it's that's why it's called crossbody. There's three Care Bears, which is kind of big. Howler, which is smaller, and Triceratops, which is even smaller. I mean, are you going to be taking a lot of stuff with you? Because if not, then just take 
I don't know. You, I feel like you haven't used Tracy the Triceratops very well. So, or very well, very uh, lately. You haven't taken that one lately, so take that one, man. No, it's a grad party. Yeah, I, I mean, I know where you're going, but, like, I didn't know what you'd be using. Dino, dino, dino. I think Rue really wants you to take the dinosaur. <laughs> so remember what I said about, like, having this easily in the bag? I might have lied. We, we might be fucked, man. Because <laughs> these dudes are, like, far away. And they are not dying as easy as I would have liked. We only had to kill one more. We got it. We got it. That one's dead, right? Okay, holy shit, dude. I was scared there for a second. <laughs> you think Tracy wins? Yeah, I mean, it's everyone voted on the dinosaur one, man. Dino is where it's at. Another question? Holy shit, dude. So many questions. Why are you asking all these questions? Asking, asking all these questions. I have, checked your rank have you seen her? I mean, I have, yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> Everyone else? Probably not. Oh, do you mean have I seen her, like, lately? Where is she? Oh. No. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I have no idea. I thought maybe you were asking chat if they've ever seen it. Where does she get her bags from? Uh, most of them are lounge fly, right, love? I know your your uh, Care Bear one is. Is your dinosaur one? Cross or your uh, lounge fly? I know the Howler from Harry Potter. That one's lounge fly too. But Tracy is Betsy Johnson. That's right. That's right. Especially since they were actually teenage girls. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Ironic. Hey, Juanita. Are you wearing Ace Hard like I feel like they're they're channeling their inner uh heartwarming story and entertainment news. Arnold Schwarzenegger? Holy shit, I couldn't remember his name. Recovery. After a near death experience last year when she was attacked by two psychotic fans. <laughs> the fuck, oh, dude? Girl. You know, you just hate to see that kind of sense. Was that something that happened in like the last game, but I just don't know? I just like to take those two Ratchet and Clank being looking high as shit and harassing some some famous person. What? The fuckity fuck is this shit? <laughs> the game or Betsy and Loungefly? Which one? <laughs> which one are you talking about? The game, I'm assuming. Juanita's pissed, yeah. Definitely pissed, dude. Shout out to Shop Hippo. Uh, I know nothing about them, but Mr. Noodle says they're cool, so... I presume they're cool. Clink, clank, that's what I said. Well, Star is about to become Team Dead Star. <laughs> will they survive long enough to enter the foreboding dark cathedral? If so, Shell Shock will be there to finish them off. I have an idea bets, of which one already. I think I know which one they're gonna send you. Noodle's gonna send you. Assuming there's a crossbody to go along with the the one that I'm thinking of, because I haven't looked at the entire collection. Oh, do you? I think so. I think so. Like I said, I'm I'm making an, an assumption here, which, I mean, you know, but <laughs> so I could very well be wrong. But I I have an idea of what they might be sending you at least. So what are these new weapons that we got? We got a fusion rifle. That's cool. Hunter mine launcher. What is that? Uh, oh. It's like it's a homing mine. What? <laughs> that is weird. So wait, the fusion rifle does it? What's what's the fusion rifle's thing? I'm assuming it just does a bunch of damage. I'm assuming that's its thing. Ah, uh, there's no Scooby ones, really? Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. Because you just shared that awesome Scooby-Doo bag from, uh, I'm pretty sure that was from Lounge Fly, right? So I was thinking, uh, whatever, you know, whatever crossbody they made to go along with that. But I guess maybe they never made one to go along with it, which is lame. 
Why no Scooby Love, man? It was a good guess, at least. Hell yeah, it was a good guess. Scooby's fucking sick, dude. Everyone loves Scooby Doo. If you don't, what the fuck are you even doing with your life, you know? <laughs> Definitely would have sent you a Scooby if she had it. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda sad they don't, to be honest. Oh, Lounge or Loungefly is uh, just now getting into crossbodies. Crossbodies are still kinda newer for them. I guess that makes sense, but still. Still though, how the fuck are you gonna make a Scooby-Doo bag and not make a Scooby-Doo crossbody? The disappointment, man. <laughs> So disappointed in them. I can't help but notice that we've already leveled up a lot. Like, we've doubled our uh, health since we started playing. I'm assuming this game is, is a fair bit shorter than the other Ratchet and Clank games. I mean, the Ratchet and Clank games in general usually aren't super long or anything like that. But we've only been playing for, what, an hour, hour and a half, something like that? And that's, you know, with taking breaks and, and talking to chat and shit. And it's still, it just seems like, uh, seems like we've gotten suspiciously far in that amount of time. Although I guess, may, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're just meant to, to get health quickly in this game. Because we still have a fair few worlds. We've only explored three and there's, what, like, ten or so? Ten, twelve worlds? Some shit like that? So I don't know, man. I don't know. Do we have that Hunter Mine Launcher? Maybe that'll be good in this situation. I mean, it explodes. And the thing's exploding is cool. Do you like Loki? I don't... Are you a Marvel person at all, Rue? I don't think I've ever heard you talk about Marvel stuff. Though I could be wrong. Not a big fan of Marvel in general. That's what I thought. See? I know this stuff, man. I pay attention. My memory is absolute trash, but I pay attention at least. <laughs> Power 250 also received impact mod. Very cool. I'm assuming impact mod is like knockback. Speaking of Marvel stuff though, uh, love me and you, Noodle, need to watch um, the, what's it called? Moon Knight? I'm pretty sure it's called. We need to watch that. Holy shit, dude. That scepter thing did a shit ton of fucking damage, man. Like that. That fucking hurt. Oh, so they're, they're like mines and they kind of home, but they don't home in on anything until they get close. Is that what the hunter mines do? Weird. Okay, I can get into it. You gotta watch that. It looks so cool. Or it sounds so good. Yeah, I mean, it It does. It, it looks and sounds really good, in my opinion. I uh, I don't know anything about Moon Knight from the comics at all. This is, as far as I can think, the first time I've heard of it is whenever uh, they did the show, but, like... Wait, my bots can do what to the cable? They can, they can create grind cables? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they can. Very cool. Okay. I'm kind of surprised they included the grind again. I mean, grinding is like very ratchet and clank. But still, like, this this game isn't very ratchet and clank, I feel like. With its, its heavy combat focus and all that. So I'm kind of surprised that they included it. But I'm glad that they did. For sure. Do you, uh, have you ever watched the Deadpool stuff? Because... Deadpool is very, uh, very fun and, you know, way, way different than most other Marvel stuff, that's for sure. Plus, I mean, it has the greatest person in the world in it, Ryan Reynolds. So, there's that. Uh, get fucked. What is, what is going on here? You have the Deadpool, Deadpool video game, but never saw the movie, but you love Deadpool? Aw, oh, man, you totally gotta watch the movies then. They are really good IMO. And Deadpool, just as a character, is also really cool. And then, of course, you know, again, Ryan Reynolds. The hottest guy of all time and one of the coolest actors of all time. Just, like, best actors of all time. So, like, dude, it's really good. He's just a sarcastic asshole the entire time. And that's... I love it. <laughs> it's so good. You should watch it. It is really, really good. Uh... 
Anyways, guys, it is getting pretty late. I think we're gonna start wrapping it up. We don't have to, uh, we don't have to, like, end it right here or anything since we're having this wonderful conversation trying to find you a uh, lounge fly crossbody. But the man who makes people realize they are gay or bi, bro, dude, you can be straight and still find Ryan Reynolds incredibly attractive. Like, <laughs> because, like, hmm. I don't think there's a straight man alive that doesn't find Ryan Reynolds attractive. I, I doubt there's very many bi or gay men alive that don't find Ryan Reynolds attractive. He's just a very attractive guy, okay? Like... <laughs> You've never seen Nightmare Before Christmas either? either? Uh, it took me a long time to see Nightmare Before Christmas personally. I don't think I actually sat down and watched through the entire movie until, like, I don't know. A while ago it, it's been a little while at this point but i was surprisingly old whenever i i first actually saw it considering it came out when i was was i even born when it came out i think i was but i don't know when what year did nightmare before christmas come out i know it's old at this point but nightmare before christmas 1993 so yeah i was i was a brand new baby <laughs> when it came out does it have like the actual day i'm assuming around either Halloween or uh, or Christmas, one or the other, release date. It came out October 13th, 90, 1993, yeah. So I was only seven months old, dude, not even. Blast me, I know, nope, he is though. He is though. Ryan Reynolds is sexy as fuck, dude, and I don't care. Like, <laughs> your folks focus on Scooby-Doo and classic Disney movies. That's mostly what we watch too, but I mean, at this point, I would say a lot of people consider nightmare before christmas a classic disney movie kind of um but of course you know that's also because it's 29 years old so <laughs> oh man what else did oh man the studio ghibli stuff i didn't necessarily grow up on it but we had a couple of them and i watched the shit out of that harry potter during my young young teenage like preteen years like definitely grew up on that shit Men like Cinderella and like MB. What is MB? Mouse Bear? Mickey Bear? MB. Um, Mandy Barella. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what MB is. I'm sure I'm missing something obvious, but my bad. Oh, gotcha. See, I'm not really I, I a text speak person, man. I use you know like IRL, LOL and tbh but that's like that's that's pretty much it that's all i got in me <laughs> i don't i don't have the energy for any of that other stuff but uh yeah dude harry potter lord of the rings i watched the lord of the rings a fair few times growing up all kinds of stuff dude the mortal kombat movies and teenage mutant ninja turtle movies even though like now being an adult i recognize that both of those movies <laughs> sucked like pretty bad honestly but I grew up with them, so you know, as a as a kid, they were they were movies. I watched them. I kind of enjoyed them. I mean, I enjoyed them a fair bit when I was a kid. But yeah, and then a lot of cartoons, you know, a lot of cartoons: Scooby Doo, Tom and Jerry, um, fucking anything on Cartoon Network: Johnny Bravo, the the boy genius dude, not Jimmy Neutron, the other one, but then the Nickelodeon shit too, so Jimmy Neutron, Fairly Odd Parents, holy shit, Fairly Odd Parents, dude. Yeah, so many cartoons. Loved all that shit. But all right, Dexter, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, Dexter's Laboratory. Powerpuff Girls too, and uh, I almost said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I already mentioned that. Uh, Teen Titans, man, and Teen Titans, oh my God. And then, of course, anime. I wasn't, like, a hardcore anime person as a kid, but, you know, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I'm forgetting shit, I know, but, like, a few other ones that they played on Cartoon Network and whatnot, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. But see, Bleach I didn't start watching until I was, like, a, like, 17-ish -ish or something like that. Uh, right around there. Transformers? Yeah, I watched a little bit of Transformers. All kinds of stuff, man. I just, I've always loved cartoons. Didn't matter the kind. <laughs> it can be it can be American. It can be Japanese. I don't really care where it comes from. I just like fucking cartoons, dude. Not not like fucking cartoons. 
but I fucking liked cartoons. I made that mistake to Noodle one time, uh, very early in our relationship. I meant to say I fucking love you. We hadn't even had sex yet, Noodle and I. I feel this is important to mention. We we hadn't even had sex, and uh, I messaged her one day and I said. I love fucking you with like a bunch of exclamation points. I don't remember why I was so excited. But I was trying to say I fucking love you, but I guess Freudian slip there, you know, I was just excited for the day whenever it finally came around. <laughs> but good times, man. It was funny. I laughed. You're watching rewatching some Yu-Gi-Oh GX the other day. I never watched GX. I saw one or two episodes of it, but I've I've never like really watched it. I only ever really watched classic Yu-Gi-Oh! And that was pretty much it. <laughs> you really wanted in her pants? Well, I mean, duh. <laughs> nah, I was willing to wait for her, though. She knew that. Her goal was to wait until, what? You were out of high school, I think, is when you were trying to wait till? Or something like that? And then you ended up giving in, like, a week early or two weeks early? I don't remember the details. But, Yeah. She was a horn dog. What can I say? Graduated? Yeah, that's that's what I thought. But she couldn't she couldn't keep it in her pants, man. That's her fault. <laughs> like five months early? Ah, eh, five months, two weeks, whatever. Close enough. <laughs> oh lord. It's good. You played Elemental Hero Dex when you played the physical card game. Yeah. <laughs> At my sister's birthday party. Yeah. I remember that part. <laughs> I don't remember it being, you know, five months early or whatever, but I do remember it was at your sister's birthday party. To be clear, though, all they were all, like, downstairs doing the birthday party thing, and uh, her sister's, like, a fair bit younger than, than she is. So we were just like, yeah, we don't really want to hang out with all the kids, so we're just going to go upstairs. And then we went upstairs to her room, and uh, she just dicked me down, basically, dude. She didn't give me any choice. She was just like, all right, this is what we're doing now. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, my fucking God, guys. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Noodle with the eye roll. Was that the first time, though, honestly? Or, because, like, when my house burnt down... Um, you came and stayed with me. You weren't supposed to, but you came and stayed with me for a couple nights. Was that after your sister's birthday party? I guess it was around the same time, probably, because my house burnt down in December, um, at the end of December, which is near your sister's birthday. So, I, yeah, I guess it was around the same time, actually. So, what I'm hearing is, if you didn't dick me down, maybe my house would have never got burnt down? Wow. Wow. Wow, it was karma, it was payback. <laughs> Beginning of December? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm picking on you, Noodle. Stream, bro. What? <laughs> what did I do? I don't know what the stream bro is for. What, what, what did I do wrong, man? I'm just telling, you know, fun life stories from, from mine and Noodle's past. <laughs> My lord, there's one with Chip and Dale carrying a donut? That does sound cute. You know damn well- I didn't do anything! I don't know damn well anything, dude. All I know is, you guys pay me to say things on the internet, so I say things on the internet. <laughs> That's, that is all I know. Nothing more, nothing less. Alright? Alright. <laughs> We pay you? I mean, most of you are subscribed that are here. I don't know if everyone here is, but most of you are. You are. Noodle is. Nate is. So, it's not like, you know. <laughs> okay, fair, that true. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wonder if BioWorld would be better for you, Rue. What is BioWorld? Yeah, no one knows what BioWorld is. I thought we had already picked out one. Or did you send them on Discord and they were just like, no. <laughs> Anything spooky witch will do. I love that. <laughs> oh, that avatar one's really cute. That Momo one. 
Oh, they're both cute, man. That Nightmare Before Christmas tarot card passport one is really cool, too. Like, yeah. Do you need, you need Noodle to send you some of these sites? It's just the Loungefly website is all it is. Right? Or are you, uh, well, she's looking on, like, Amazon and stuff right now, but still. Like, it's just, just search for Loungefly crossbody or, or Loungefly stuff in general and you'll find the bags that she's talking about. Because, yeah, I mean, Loungefly, do they have their own site, though? Like, it would be weird if they didn't. But to buy them, yeah, you normally go to, like, Amazon or, or, uh, Hot Topic or some shit like that. But, anyways, guys. Feel free to uh, continue this conversation over on Discord, of course, but it is after 2 o'clock, and I don't think I have any more uh, slightly embarrassing but funny stories to tell at the moment. Plus, like, I feel like I'm going to pass out at any moment because I am tired as shit. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, BioWorld is a brand that makes bags. See, I, I missed the message that, uh, that said that. But, yeah. Everyone get a good rest. Yes, everyone get a good rest. Have a good night. All of that fun stuff. Thank you, of course, for coming and hanging out with me tonight. Tomorrow is Saturday, so we will be playing some Odin Sphere starting around 5, maybe a little bit after, because we all know I'm never on time for anything. And then uh, Sunday night, fingers crossed, Sunday night we'll be playing a little bit of Stardew Valley modded with the Doris Man and talking about a video game. Pac-Man World 2, most likely, is the video game we'd be talking about, so... Yeah. Anyways, have a wonderful night, guys. Thank you again. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. Get murdered. Cool. Uh, <laughs> this Iranian scout is about to attack.